Preparation. Prepare 2.5 microgram per milliliter of carprofen. 0.05 microgram per milliliter of barbronorphine. 0.9% of sodium chloride injection. Anesthetic reagent. Containing 10 microgram per microliter of ketamine and 1 microgram per liter of xylazine. Sterilize instruments. Anesthesia. Wait to get animal body grams. Put animal into a cage. Fetch 10 microliter of anesthetic solution per gram of animal body. The dose of ketamine is 100 milligram per kilogram. And xylazine is 10 milligram per kilogram. Put into a 1.5 milliliter tube. Then absorb all these solution in an 1 milliliter syringe. Anesthetize mouse with isoflurane. Do intraperitoneal injection anesthesia. Put mouse back to the cage for around 5 minutes. Wait until the animal is fully anesthetized. During these time, prepare injection solution according to the animal body weight. For 0.9% sodium chloride 20 microliter per gram. And for 2.5 milligram per milliliter carprofen 2 microliter per gram. The dose is 5 milligram per kilogram. Also fetch accurately the solution to a 1.5 milliliter tube and then absorb totally into a syringe. Cut animal skin hair at the surgical sites with clipper. Clean the cutting hair and disinfect the surgical sites with 75% alcohol. Inject carprofen subcutaneously and do intraperitoneal injection for 0.9% sodium chloride. Apply eye gel to keep eyes moist and prevent corneal drying during surgery. Optical fiber cannula preparation. Using a small needle make a hole at the bottom of a centrifuge tube. Insert it into one terminal end of an length is around 20 cm and diameter is 0.7 mm fiber optical cable. Then insert it it's through a short piece of length is around 4 mm and out diameter is 1 mm. Inner diameter is 0.7 mm rubber tube. To fix this end tightly at the bottom of this centrifuge tube. Insert another terminal end of the fiber optical cable into a length is another inner diameter is 0.7 mm rubber tube. And slip this rubber tube into a piece of length is around 4 mm and out diameter is 3 mm. Inner diameter is 1 mm rubber tube. Then, insert the fiber optical cable into a 20 gauge for catheter. Adjust the position of the fiber optic cable. Let it extend through the cannula around 2 mm in front of the cannula tip. Connect the centrifuge tube terminal of the fiber optical cable cannula with one goose neck of a fiber optic illuminator. Using a medium bottle filled with water and fixed to pet of pipette tip box make as a mouse holding support stand. And tie a 3 cm string on it. Under stereomicroscope. Suspend the anesthetic's mouse on the support stand by its upper incisors. Using a forceps gently pull out mouse tongue. Fix it with the left hand thumb and index finger. And also use other fingers holding and adjusting the mouse neck and body position. Insert it into the optical fiber cannula with right hand. Expose mouse vocal cords clearly. Gently push into the optical fiber cannula, passing through the vocal cords and going into the tracheal. Carefully withdraw the fiber optic cable. Lie the mouse down.
block the outpour of the catheter with a finger. The mouse shows obvious breathing difficulty. Move away the finger. The mouse feels the breathing is much more comfortable. Indicating the intubation is successful. Adjust the settings of the small animal ventilator to a tidal volume around 10 microliter per gram of body weight. And a respiration rate at 130 per minute. Put mouse on the surgical stage. And connect the cannula with the animal ventilator. Put the outpour of the ventilator tube into water. The upfloating air bubbles can be seen. Indicating both intubation and cannula connection are successful. Fix mouse chin with the cannula using tape. Fix the ventilator tube with tape. Move the outpour of the ventilator tube from water. Fix mouse front and back feet on the surgery stage with tape. Using a chlorexidine cotton-tipped applicator. Antisepticize the surgical site. Cleaning in a circular motion. From center to periphery. Using sterile sponge cover non-surgical field. Fetch a 7-0 suture. Hold with micro needle hold it. Put aside for the following use. Perform a skin incision around 0.5 cm in the middle of a line between xiphoid and left axilla. Separate the subcutaneous tissues. The pectoralis major muscle and the pectoralis minor muscle using forceps. Make the third and fourth ribs expose adequately. Puncture through the intercostal muscle between these two ribs using the tip of a small forceps. Pick up the intercostal muscle and cut a 0.5 cm incision with a small scissors to open the thoracic cavity. Carefully remove the pericardium. and use surgical hooks to expose the heart appropriately. Visualize the left descending coronary artery as a deep positioned light red vessel. Usually it can be found between the pulmonary artery cone and the left atrial appendage. Two to three millimeter below the bottom edge of left atrium. At the area between the heart vertical line of the right edge of the left atrium and the line of one third from the left edge of the left atrium. Legate the left descending coronary artery using 7-0 silk suture at the position 2 to 3 mm below the bottom edge of left atrium. Release and move away the hooks.
After ligation, it can be observed the color of the local area surrounding the ligation and the myocardium downstream of the ligation simultaneously becoming pale, and the movement of the corresponding myocardial region becoming minimized. Indicate the ligation is successful. Cover heart with pericardium. Put the outpour of the ventilator tube back into water. Make sure it is at least 5 cm lower than the water surface. Increase ventilator tidal volume 25 to 50 microliters to let mouse lung expanding enough to squeeze out the air from the thorax. And also press mouse chest gently to help to squeeze out the air from the thorax. Move back the ribs and muscle to the regular position. Cover the thorax wound with the pectoralis major muscle and the pectoralis minor muscle. And close the skin wound with 4 to 5 sutures of 6-0 silk suture. Move away the tapes used to fix mouse. Subcutaneously inject barprenupin 0.1 microgram per kilogram body weight for pain therapy and disconnect the intubation cannula from the ventilator. Put mouse into a cage and warm with a lamp. After mouse recovered completely from the anesthesia, put mouse back to the animal room.